Dubai may appear to be malls and air conditioning at times, but the enormous desert metropolis is seeing a fresh and exciting flow of cultural institutions, galleries, and shopping complexes, all aimed at attracting a new generation of tourists. Whether you want to jump off of an aircraft or witness the city's stunning fountains spill 500 feet into the air, practically everything is possible in this city, and we have the list to prove it. Here are some of the top things to do in this Middle Eastern hotspot, according to our recommendations. Hey everybody, welcome to Search Facts. Today we're going to go over the top 10 things to do in Dubai. Make sure to watch until number 1, because it's one of the most amazing places I've ever seen. Dubai Frame Dubai Frame is reported to be the world's biggest picture frame, designed to represent a symbolic connection between the ancient and modern metropolis. The approximately 500-foot-tall gold frame features panoramic glass elevators that carry visitors to the top, where they may walk along a transparent glass promenade that spans the whole 313-foot breadth. Tickets range in price from $5 to $1.14 and may be purchased online or at the venue. Children under 3 and visitors with special needs or disabilities can enter for free. Global Village Dubai's vast global village is essentially a theme park for people of all ages, though it's particularly popular with families due to its kid-friendly life and activities. It's open from November to early May and includes international music, ride, food, and activities. It's on the outskirts of Dubai, so don't expect to fit it into a city focused day, but if you have the time and are interested in some international shopping and entertainment, it's worth a visit. X-Line Dubai Marina X-Line Dubai, one of the world's longest, steepest, and fastest urban zip lines, takes you belly up across roads, buildings, and swimming pools in Dubai. Riders soar from the Jumeirah Beach residence to Dubai Marina at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, passing by once in a lifetime along the route. It's even possible to ride in tandem with friends. Ski Dubai, the world's third largest indoor ski slope, located in the middle of a desert mall, is a sight to behold. A daily lift ticket will set you back around $138, excluding equipment rentals, while a snow vacation pass, which gives you access to the non-skiing areas of the mountain such as tubing, will set you back $1.68 per person, and you should arrive early. The venue is packed with families and children. The majority of them are opting for rides and penguin encounters over skiing. There are two runs and a specialized freestyle area for shredders, but failed this is not. Al Marble Camel Racetrack Almar is a renowned heritage place that attracts camel racing fans from all over the world. A day at the camel races is a cultural experience that dates back to the 7th century and is perfectly reflective of Middle Eastern culture. Camel owners, trainers, and handlers frequently crowd the grandstands, and most seats provide excellent views of the event. Keep in mind that races begin early in the morning, between 7 and 9 a.m., and that all commentary and announcements are in Arabic. Kite Beach Kite Beach is for beach lovers, with its large expanse of sand, azure ocean, beach chases, and enough activities to make you feel like sunbathing isn't enough. When it's not 106 degrees outside, play ball, try kite surfing, or go for a run around the soft jogging track. Alpha Hitty Historical Neighborhood This charming area provides an insight of Dubai prior to the formation of the Emirates in 1971. The twisting alloys and walks are lined with traditional structures made of stone, palm wood, gypsum, and teak. History and architectural lovers will enjoy getting lost here. The area offers a peaceful escape from the city's traffic and skyscrapers, and the maze of roads gives the impression of being in a hidden town. At the top, Burj Khalifa. Unsurprisingly, the world's tallest structure can be seen from practically anywhere in Dubai. Taking in the sights from the street is exciting enough, but you can also go to the top of the 160-story giant prepared for the thrills of the high-speed elevators, followed by pure wonder when you step onto the observation deck. Purchase tickets for a certain time window in advance online. The majority of tourists visiting Dubai for the first time go to the top. The Dubai Mall The Dubai Mall, the world's largest shopping mall, attracts about 100 million people each year. It's easy to get lost. There are over 1,200 shops, but it's a wonderful spot to escape the Dubai heat while shopping for expensive goods. It attracts more tourists from all over the globe than both New York City and Los Angeles Dubai, so it's safe to assume that everyone visits. Skydive Dubai 
Skydive Dubai has you covered in free falling over Dubai at 120 miles per hour seems like your idea of a good time. Beginners are encouraged to dive with the company's trained guide, but licensed divers can dive alone. A tandem flight from Skydive Dubai's facility on the Palm costs roughly $1.600, but if you're a thrill seeker who isn't frightened of heights, it's well worth it. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of top 10